thank you everybody for taking the time today. Um, so this is like our first official call that I've, I've decided to come on as a CEO and president. I've sort of been in the background just trying to get this thing going. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that have happened, good and bad, in terms of uh, what's gone on in the past. But I think what we have now going is going to be a very exciting future. So uh, let me let me just start by saying that uh, there's a couple of things that are going to be a little bit different about this company versus anything you've done before. Uh, or, or recently, anyway. Number one, um, as CEO of the company, my job is not to um, train you, to tell you how to do the business, or to do any of that kind of stuff. That's the distributor's uh, responsibility, and we'll have some great leadership that will get behind you. Obviously, we will work with you because we need to give you what you need to to make that successful. But as, as, but the but the company's responsibility to you to me is the following, okay? Number one, get the best products possible. And I think we've, we've, we've heck, we got a heck of a start with the three. Uh, Rick and I met last week on two new products that we'll get out in the very near future. Um, number two, ship that stuff quickly. And I know it took a little while, you know, we, we got started much faster than anybody in the history of the human race. Usually it takes six months to get something started, eight weeks to get a new product started. And we started shipping in two, two weeks, basically two or three weeks. So I apologize. It was a little bit of a delay in the beginning, um, but I can pretty much guarantee you now that we will be shipping. If you get the order in early in the day, it'll be, it'll ship that day. That's how fast we're shipping. Okay. We have plenty of product. Um, we have we have the capabilities of making it. Rick Rick has an incredible lab there that we that is he's put together over the past couple of years. We've bought new machinery. Uh, everything is being made in house. We don't have to take it. We don't have to ship it to Texas to get to shipped out to you. We don't have to wait for somebody else to do it. Everything is being handled in house, and that's a big positive for everybody because with that kind of control, we can make sure you get what you need in terms of getting the products on time. The, and the last thing I need to do um, is give you a good comp plan and pay you on time. And I can promise you we're going to do that. Those are, the, those are our, our promises as a company that we are going to do those things. Your promise to us is get this product out to people. The only reason we're doing this company, the only reason I, Rick and Gary and Doug Dickey, who is our VP of sales, um, he will not be a distributor. He's going to be the VP of sales of the company. Uh, have done this is because we believe this product needs to be out in the marketplace everywhere and not hidden among a lot of other products that really don't do what these kind of products can do for people. Um, we, are, we are going to be concentrating as a rule, we are gonna be concentrating on immune health and cellular health, that's it. You know, will we have as ancillary products? We'll have some that go along with it, but everything we do is gonna be about immune health about keeping your body healthy. Because uh, as Rick will say, and Rick has said, you know, a healthy body will fix itself. And that's what we want. We want people on this, not because they're sick. We want people on this because they don't want to get sick, because they want to live a healthy life, because they don't want to be in bed. Uh, they don't want they don't want to end up, you know, hurting themselves and not healing. I mean, I just had a, a deal, and a lot of you know, I just, you know, I, I ripped my Achilles tendon 11 weeks ago, okay? Anybody knows anything about that? At, at my age, they told me it was going to be six months. It's 11 weeks, and I went out and played tennis last week. Okay? And that's because the guy told me I healed like a 15-year-old. And I healed like a 15-year-old because I've been on this stuff that long. Okay? It helps your body. Your body will fix itself. So I'm not going to add anything else to that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Rick to come on. Everybody knows Rick. Rick is our chief science officer. He's literally an owner of the company. Um, this is not a, you know, not a deal where we have a bunch of business guys owning the company. This is owned by people who are about the products. Um, so, Rick, if you would like to come on, a uh, little, you know, a little introduction for the one or two people who may not have heard of you. I doubt there is any. And uh, and from there, um, I think we're gonna today we're gonna concentrate on the immunity, the newest product we have. So, Rick, to you. You know, thanks for having me, Robin. Always a pleasure. Uh, Chip has his best Santa Claus look going today. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Rick Deitch. I'm a biochemist. Uh, I'm both a pharmaceutical and a nutritional biochemist, which makes me a little different in the field. So I do work on ethical drugs, and I do run a biotech company with drugs for multiple sclerosis, HIV, adrenal myelopathy, and pain. 
Uh, the company owns 21 patents. We just filed four new patents in the last year, uh, working on uh, nerve agent countermeasures, potentially to protect our troops from nerve agent damage on the battlefield. Uh, and we also had an idea a few years ago for treating Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS. So we're working on that as well. Uh, but I also had the great opportunity as a nutritional biochemist to work for the Rexall Sundown family of companies back in the late 90s, early 2000s, when we were the largest manufacturer of dietary supplements on the planet. And I really got to dive into the mechanisms of human health, of aging, of anti-aging or healthy aging. Uh, and to that end, I designed well over 50 products in the dietary supplement market, conducted more than 50 clinical studies in dietary supplements. I wrote two books. Uh, the first book was Are You Age Wise? A Guide to Healthy Aging. And the second book was Invisible Killers, The Truth About Environmental Genocide, all about the toxins in the environment, where they come from, how they affect us. Uh, but all to that end was just trying to educate people to the fact that there are things you can do. There are things you can do to make proper lifestyle choices, to eat right, to exercise, to get a right sleep, but also to take certain things that will minimize your risk of toxicity, that will allow you to live a longer, happier, healthier, uh, more active life. Uh, and that's been kind of my man mantra and my, uh, my mission you know, for the last over 20 years. Uh, the one thing that's always gotten in the way, and you'll say that is, the other guy, which is the management, the companies that, uh, you know, basically put profit before people. Uh, and for the most part, uh, you can't trust them. You know, you, you're constantly, and I remember I, I used to do this at Rexall. I would make my dream product formulation and go to management. They say it's too expensive. So I had to go through the painful process of either cheapening the ingredients I was using or removing things from the product until I got a product that basically they said was saleable and you could afford. And the great thing we have now uh, with, with Neil and with, uh, with Dr. Gary Samuelson is, is that we can make the best possible products in the category. And we're saving money because we're making it ourselves in our GMP facility or good manufacturing practices facility. Uh, and uh, we're the bosses. This is all of us. So we get to make the decisions on bringing the best possible products into the marketplace and for people. So uh, a lot of this started with my zeolite technology and uh, we're marking that as Cell Defender. I can tell you this is the best zeolite I've ever, ever made. Our micronization process gets better all the time. Our analyzing process gets better all the time. Um, we have a uh, new quality control and uh, now we're actually making capsules. And he, he, he started annoying me because he was weighing every capsule we made. And I said, you don't have to weigh every capsule. You know, we know that we're getting it filled properly. Uh, and so there's quality control steps to make sure that we're doing everything right. But it is uh, fascinating that we have so much going on and it's all for the good of, uh, of you guys and for Avini Health. Uh, so with that, I, I wanna get into the concept of the Z immunity. It really goes into mushrooms. Uh, and for those of you who remember, we had a product back in 2009 that we launched. It actually went back before then. In 2005, 2006, we started looking at a single mushroom called agaricus, agaricus blazii. And that had such a fascinating story that it started my, uh, my research into mushrooms uh, because I had not been in there yet. You know, I, I looked at certain vitamins, minerals, uh, zeolites, of course, uh, and then on the pharmaceutical side, uh, mostly proteins, peptides, especially from venomous animals like cone snails, gila monsters, and cobras. Uh, but I never really looked at mushrooms. It was outside my, my realm of expertise. Uh, and then I met these guys from Japan that were talking about Agaricus blazii. And where that started was uh, in the late 70s, there was a global study done where they were basically looking at cancer clusters, disease clusters, and they were doing a global map of hotspots, like where most disease were. And some of the fascinating things that came out of it are directly related to some of the work I do. For example, multiple sclerosis, for some reason, is very bound to latitude. So northern, higher northern latitudes tend to have more multiple sclerosis in terms of per capita than lower. So there's a greater incidence of MS, for example, in Canada than there is in the Southern United States. And so that one of the reasons they believe is that the triggering factor could be exposure to a virus, uh, probably Epstein-Barr virus or a form of herpes. Uh, so th those are sort of things that came out of these global studies. Where are people most likely to get certain diseases? And what shocked them is that 
there was a little white spot on the map where nobody got sick. And it was in Brazil. And they said, how come nobody's getting sick in this little area near Sao Paulo, Brazil, in the Piedad region of Brazil? especially cancer. Cancer was practically non-existent there. And so all these Japanese uh, researchers just flew to Brazil to try and figure this out in the late 70s, early 80s. And in 1981, there was a seminal paper published where they said it, it couldn't be environmental because people that live there move away have the same risk of disease. And people that move into that area have the, the lower risk of disease. So it had to be environmental. And they finally narrowed it down to a mushroom. This agaricus blazii mushroom, which for some reason uh, seemed to prevent almost every disease. <laughs> and so they started looking into it's very high in 1316 beta glucan, which is a, a, a starch, basically a polysaccharide that allows the immune system to talk to itself. And my best analogy is it's like your army having extra walkie talkies. You know, so if you think of your immune system as an army, beta glucan is the walkie talkies, let them talk to each other. As you have more beta glucan, your immune system can be more in communication. So you have less of a hyperimmune response, a more stable immune response, and a better immune response uh, when you're attacked by a virus, a bacteria, when you, when you have to heal, you know. Um, so uh, the people that region, uh, the Agaricus blazii mushroom was part of their diet. They made tea out of it, they cooked with it. It was, it was part of their everyday diet. Uh, at that point, the Japanese took it back to Japan and cultivated themselves and made all sorts of agaricus blazii products. Uh, but the real shame of it is urban sprawl from Sao Paulo actually wiped out the Piedad region of Brazil. So the original place that that mushroom was, that amazing mushroom was, doesn't exist anymore, okay? Uh, now, luckily, the Japanese took that mushroom. There are cultures of it all over the world, and there are versions of Agaricus blazii, uh, certain subtypes of it all over the world. But that started me on my mushroom quest, uh, realizing how good mushrooms were. And the first product we made only had Agaricus blazii. And then we had a product that had uh, six different mushrooms, and we had a myzeolite to it. And that was an incredibly well-selling product uh, that was for immune system support. So what I've done here is I went back to that original research back from 2009. Uh, that was launched uh, just before the swine flu epidemic in 2009, specifically because we knew that it was going to be a, a rough flu year. We wanted to make sure that product was out there. Uh, but this particular product, uh, we get an immune blend with seven different mushrooms. And the cool part of it is, is you have to understand that most plants, most, uh, most uh, fungus, uh, when a lot of the beneficial compounds are created due to stress, okay? So a lot of these plants will create like alkaloids because the environment's too bad. They're, they're being predated upon, something's eating them and they have to scare off the thing eating them or the weather's too bad. So they create these things to be sturdier and harder, hardier. Same thing with fungus. So it creates all sorts of, uh, of, of beneficial compounds in response to stress. It's getting stronger, it needs to get stronger. Just like we work out and we build muscles. It's so the same thing with this fungus and, and some, same thing with molds and same thing with spores and yeast. Uh, so when they grow these mushrooms, they actually grow them in competition with each other. They make them fight it out for nutrients, for growth. And what that does is it spikes the production of, of beta-glucans and all these beneficial compounds. So th this particular mushroom blend has the most of all the beneficial nutrients of any mushroom blend I've ever seen, okay? And it's, it's, it's uh, the IAS, it's the Immune uh, Assist Supreme Full Spectrum Mushroom Complex. Like I said, it's got seven different mushrooms. Uh, I did a uh, white paper that I'm hoping Neil puts on the website, which actually goes deep into each mushroom and why it's different and how it adds to the, the benefits of the product. Um, but this, the seven different mushrooms include, first of all, the uh, Agaricus blazii, which I talked about, Lentinola etodes, the Graffola frandosa, Tremes versicolor, Ganoderma lucinda, Cordyceps sinensis, and Cordyceps militaris. Um, so uh, the different mushrooms all do different things. Primarily, the one thing we're looking at is beta-glucan content, especially 1316 beta-glucans. Uh, and as I said, this is what allows the immune system to uh, basically talk to each other. They all have very high levels of the 1316 beta glucan. Um, aside from that, there are some things that work synergistically with the zeolite. 
okay? For example, all these, uh, all these mushrooms have antioxidant capabilities. Now, most of the antioxidants work much like antioxidant vitamins, where they're either electron donors or electron acceptors. So they can quench a free radical reaction. The zealot, on the other hand, captures whole free radicals. So when you have a single oxygen radical, it can be captured by the zealot. Uh, so it's two different mechanisms of free radical, uh, uh, of stopping free radical cascades or acting as an antioxidant. And anytime you have two different mechanisms doing the same thing, you have a synergistic benefit. If you guys don't know the term synergistic, we're basically saying that one plus one equals five, you know? So this does a little bit, this does a little bit, but when they work together, you get a much bigger result uh, because of it. Um, so th those are the triterpenoids and ergosterols of the mushrooms. There's glycoproteins and polysaccharides, which include the 1316 beta glucan. Um, the ergosterols and triterpenoids also function to help with lipid control. So that's uh, triglycerides. Oop, I heard myself uh, echo. Okay. Uh, that's triglycerides, cholesterol. So some of the things you can expect uh, with the mushroom complex is not just immune system support, you're not just gonna feel better, uh, but things are gonna start working better. You know, uh, Some of the things that we've seen in clinical studies with each of these mushrooms, but also with the mushroom blend, the IS blend of seven mushrooms has shown improved blood flow, uh, uh, normalization of cholesterol, blood sugar levels, liver support, kidney support, uh, of course, antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal, which is normal for mushroom complexes. I improve respiratory function because of the triterpenoids. Uh, reduce risk of heart disease goes hand in hand with uh, the benefits of reduced triglycerides and cholesterol. Uh, it's antithrombolytic, but it's not blood thinning. This is important. So some people are worried about blood thinning especially if you're on aspirin therapy or you're in a blood thinner. And some people are worried about thrombosis, blood clotting. Uh, and so what you, you're trying to do is be antithrombolytic, prevent blood clots without thinning the blood. And what this does is it basically makes the platelets slippery. So it doesn't allow them to clot very easily. So it's antithrombolytic without being blood thinning. And it, that's what's uh, used a lot with these mushroom complexes. Uh, so it's decreased platelet aggregation improved blood flow because of that. Uh, and then even things like uh, I've said for years, whenever you can make the intangible tangible, that's a home run. We've actually seen with several of these mushroom complexes improved skin and hair. So hair growth improves, uh, skin color and uh, skin, skin uh, uh, flexibility improves. Uh, and then last thing is increased sexual function and athletic ability. Um, which, uh, you know, uh, there are actually dozens of studies on the Ganoderma lucindum and also on the blazii, agaricus blazii, on improved uh, surface circulation, the extremities, which improve sexual function, and of course, uh, improved athletic ability. Um, all of that is in the paper, in the white paper. Uh, and the most important stuff, though, is when you add my zeolite to it, how it acts synergistically. So I'm going to go the synergistic benefits, which are at the end of the paper. The paper also has 74 references. And, you know, if you guys know me, you know, I love my references uh, because I say, don't just believe me. I, I could just be a talking head marketing guy trying to sell a product. Uh, but I am a biochemist. I am a scientist. And so everything I tell you is from my own research, a bunch of it published, uh, but also from references from peer reviewed published clinical studies. And so I put all those references there. If anybody wants any copies of any references, I can supply those. Uh, so I ask people to do your own due diligence to understand that what I'm citing is uh, peer reviewed published clinical studies. Um, so we talk about some of the uh, basic claims. So the, the first claim, the most important claim, is that both the zeolite and the mushroom blend act as immunomodulators. Now, this is really important. There's lots of products out there that say they support your immune system or they improve your immune system. You got to be careful because just improving your immune system could actually be dangerous. Uh, I don't want to get too far astray, but if we talk about COVID as an example, uh, COVID is a novel virus in the human genome. 
most of the really bad effects of COVID weren't the virus. They were the immune's response to the virus, something called a chemokine storm. The immune system went nuts fighting it and caused all these extra side effects that we don't normally see in a respiratory viral attack. Uh, and so this is called a hyperimmune response. And all hyperimmune responses are dangerous and some can lead to things that are life-threatening. And there's a host of autoimmune diseases that are caused by hyperimmune responses like multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, type one diabetes. These are all hyperimmune responses that are autoimmune diseases. Okay, so we've seen products that do increase immune system reactivity. Uh, the first thing that jumps to mind is echinacea. If you remember echinacea became huge in the early 80s to mid 80s, everyone says, take your echinacea, you know, you won't get sick if you take echinacea. And what really shocked people is in the early 90s, they found that people who took echinacea all the time were actually more likely to get sick. It actually reduced their immune system over time. And that was because you can't just have a super heightened immune system all the time. You get negative returns. And so the recommendation for something like echinacea is to take it during cold and flu season. Take it when you first get the first sign of a cold and it'll spike your immune system function, immune system reactivity. So that's what you're talking about when you're increasing the immune system. It's different when you're modulating the immune system. When you give the immune system what it needs to function properly, you don't worry about a hyperimmune response. And that's what we're talking about here. Uh, for example, I'm not giving the army of our immune system a bunch of uh, hair trigger guns that could go off and hurt people, okay? I'm giving them walkie talkies so they can communicate. All right, so I'm, I'm trying to come up with analogies that work for everybody. I think that's a pretty good one, okay? So we're giving the, the immune system the ability to talk to each other so they don't have a hyperimmune response, but they have the proper response for when it's necessary, okay? And so that's what immunomodulation is. Now, the mushrooms function as immunomodulators because of the beta-glucans. The zeolite functions as an immunomodulator because it transports ions around the body. Uh, the zeolite loves to suck up mercury and lead and cadmium and arsenic and remove it from the body, but it also transports calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, and it transports all these necessary electrolytes around the body where there's better utilization. And by doing so, it actually functions as an immunomodulatory agent. I do have several papers uh, that I've referenced, not only in this white paper with the mushroom, but in the original uh, Cell Defender white paper uh, that's also available on the website. So you can see both show that it functions as an immun uh, immunomodulating agent. And like I said before, if you have two things that do the same thing through different mechanisms, they're synergistic. So by having the mushrooms and their immunomodulating effect and the zeolite, its immunomodulating effect, you wind up with a much more efficient and functioning immune system. And that's probably the best thing you're gonna get out of this product. It's an immunomodulatory effect, okay? Uh, I already mentioned that both are superior antioxidants, okay? By uh, the clinoptolite, the zeolite, by capturing whole oxidative compounds and the uh, mushroom by quenching, either adding or subtracting an extra electron and quenching a, uh, a free radical cascade. Uh, something that we really can't talk about as far as claim, but I can point to in the research is that all of these compounds, the zeolite and all of these mushrooms have published studies on its effect with cancer. Uh, acting as, an, uh, as anti-mutagenesis. Um, the agaricus extracts, they actually did cancer research where they gave patients the agaricus extract head to head against patients getting chemotherapy, primarily camptothecan agents. So, uh, so uh, aritotecan or topotecan. Uh, and the patients getting the agaricus had a better benefit as far as tumor reduction uh, without side effects than the ones getting chemotherapy and all the side effects uh, with chemotherapy. And there are three publications on that. Uh, I'm a little embarrassed by that because 
in graduate school, I actually worked on chemotherapy that was based on camptothecan. There were camptothecan analogs. Uh, and so radiotecan and topotecan are two drugs that actually came directly from the work I was doing at the Duke University Comprehensive Cancer Center. And uh, the mushroom outperformed both of those chemotherapies. So uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not saying that they're bad. They're, they are active chemotherapies that work, but it's fascinating to see that uh, uh, a mushroom could have such benefit. Um, and we've seen from the zeolite, uh, the zeolite studies show an activation of the P21 tumor suppressor gene, uh, which is a gene in the body that tries to stop cancer by inducing apoptosis or programmed cell death. Uh, and that's also in my white paper, there were two publications that theorized that if you see the zeolite and the zeolite travels through the blood and the lymph, it doesn't really like to get into the cells. The zeolite as far as it's micronized enough to get into the blood and the lymph is not small enough to get into a healthy cell. So 99% of the function of the zeolite are extracellular. But cancer cells are really hungry. Cancer cells are voracious. They need to feed, they need raw materials to build new cells, to constantly divide and divide and divide. So anything that gets near a cancer cell gets sucked up through endocytosis. It kind of wraps it up and pulls it in. Uh, so you can imagine, that the zeolite is floating through the body and it's sucking up lead and mercury and cadmium, it's dragging behind it dioxin, dioxane, volatile organic compounds, and then the cancer cell sucks it up. And so now you have this toxic bomb dragging all this stuff behind it, gets into the cell, and we believe that's enough to turn on the tumor suppressor gene, the P21 tumor suppressor gene, which tells the cell that there's something wrong and induces apoptosis, programmed cell death. And the cell basically digests itself from the inside out, uh, which is a really elegant way to kill a cell, especially a cancer cell, because it completely resolves the cell. It's not left as a dead or necrotic cell. It's completely resolved. Um, so like I said, there's several studies, both in zeolite and on the uh, mushroom products that call it an anti-mutagenic and show its effects against cancer cells. Uh, and again, two completely different mechanisms to the same thing always shows synergy. So what's that mean for us? Obviously, I'm not making any claim as a treatment or prevention of any symptom or disease. I'm just saying that these are natural products that are completely safe. Uh, they've been put, studied in hundreds and hundreds of published peer-reviewed studies. And my worst case scenario here is it's gonna make your immune system to work as best as your immune system can. And we've learned so much over, especially over the last two years about what we need as far as immune system health. Uh, we've seen new viruses. There will be new, new viruses coming up. There will be new things that we're, our immune system needs to be prepared for. Uh, not to mention, most of the drugs out there are immunosuppressive. The number one selling drugs right now in the United States are all immunosuppressive drugs. And these are my least favorite drugs ever. Uh, if you see these ads when doctors, they say, try Enbrel, try Humira. It says, have your doctor check you for infection before trying, uh, before using Enbrel. Have your doctor check you for tuberculosis. Uh, infection is much more likely while using Enbrel. Cancer and death has happened. <laughs> so they tell you that in the ad, and then you go to your doctor and you get these drugs. So the fact is there are things you can do without turning off your immune system that can promote general health, make the immune system work the way it's supposed to work in an immunomodulatory fashion to allow you to live a longer, happier, healthier life. How'd I do, Neil? You did great. I got one question for you that has been asked of me, and I think you can explain it. Um, well, there's two things. One of them is, you know, we, we put 200 milligrams on the outside of the uh, Z immunity. Um, I, I, I I, we got to do something a little bit better with that because people think it's it's 200 milligrams in each capsule. But having said that, uh, obviously there's not a lot in each capsule. Could you explain to them why it's important that they continue with the the cell defender while using this immunity? Right. Okay. So we we do several passes of micronization of the zeolite. Okay, and we do that to make the zeolite smaller and smaller with our smallest uh, zeolite particles submicron. So our average is one micron, our smallest goes down to about 490 nanometers or about 0.49 microns. Uh, when it gets that small, you cannot work with it uh, in a powder because if you've ever dealt with like talcum powder, it, like a powder puff, it just goes up into the air and it's gone. That's a super fine 
micronized powder. So the particle size we're using here is about two microns, okay? Uh, and we use it two to three microns. Uh, that's small enough to get into the bloodstream, but it's not as small as what you have in your cell defender and your liquid product. And that's the reason I did a colloidal suspension of my micronized ZLA product. Two reasons. First, it's much easier to complete the activation process when it's in water, when it's, when it's in liquid, but also because it's so fine. If I wanted to put that just in a powder and you got it home, you'd lose half of it just opening the container. It would just go up into the air and it would be gone. And you'd wonder where it all went, okay? Uh, I remember when I was first working with the fully activated zeolite and one of my guys sneezed and I lost like, you know, what would be 20 bottles worth of stuff you know, because it's so small, it gets, goes up into the air. Uh, so that's why we make a colloidal suspension of the micronized product. So while this is really good zeolite and it is activated, it is cleaned out, it is micronized, it's not the same as the zeolite that's in the cell defender. So the cell defender zeolite is fully micronized, fully activated, it's meant to basically be a systemic detoxifier. And that's basically what I call the foundation of your health. You use that first, Use that as a primary product. The zeolite that you have in the uh, in the Z immunity is supposed to act synergistically with the mushrooms, primarily as an immunomodulating agent, not primarily as a detoxifier. I hope that answers the question. Um, and you are getting uh, 200 milligrams a day. It's 100 milligrams per capsule. You are getting 200 milligrams a day, but it's not going to have the same function as 200 milligrams of the drops. Great. Appreciate that. Um, one of the one of the things that uh, that you know that everybody needs to understand is that by having Rick and his and his crew in charge of actually manufacturing and shipping all this product, you can really assure yourself that you're getting the highest quality product ever. I mean, Rick and I, you know, when we talk about these products, what Rick talked about with these other companies, where he had to dumb dumb down the product, so to speak, um, we're doing the opposite. We're spending our time planning what is the best possible version of this we can get. Uh, and we're able to do that for a couple of reasons. Number one, obviously, Rick is, is, is a master. is probably one of the greatest formulators in the country at this point. Uh, Gary Samuelson is a great formulator. I mean, we have some great help there. Um, but I want you to understand the way we're planning on running this business is not what you're used to. Um, you're not going to see a building with a staff in it ever okay we are not spending a lot of money on on, on 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 administration we are spending the money on getting good best products possible and then paying you a as much as we could possibly pay you we will be a profitable company because you know what that's the only way we're going to be around but we're going to be a very successful company for you because uh one thing i learned in running big companies is that the worst thing you could possibly do is create a bureaucracy because then it becomes un you, you can't do anything with it okay there will be people there will be customer service people um but we are outsourcing everything possible we have a great it team they're outsourced we have a great marketing team they're outsourced okay we, you know we we are not going to be one of those people that have these huge payrolls running around with a big building and everything else. Rick and I are sharing an office in Florida. Okay. When, you know, well, actually I'm, I'm sharing my office here <laughs> in my house and Rick is in Florida, even though I was there last week. So I just want you to all be assured that we're going well, to let's, let's be real. I put, I put Neil in the kitchen. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he did. Uh, my wife sold the office. So I'm in the kitchen. That's where we run in the company out of my <laughs> kitchen. So uh, but all kidding aside, um, we are moving forward to the next stop in our, in our journey. Uh, we're moving very rapidly. Uh, you're going to hear a lot more about it over the next two to three weeks. Um, I think you're going to be very excited about what we're doing. Uh, I, the, the, the system that we're building is truly everything that we've all wanted in the past and never got. I mean, from the comp plan and all the little things in the comp plan that always irk the heck out of all of us to the back office that gives you everything you need. Um, obviously, the, 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 the programming we have right now is very fun, you know, fundamental. I mean, it's elementary to, to the nth degree. 
Uh, we finally got some of it working, probably just in time to shut it down, but that's a, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> Um, but we are very much on top of it. As many as you know, a lot of you have sent emails and you get answered pretty quickly, don't you? That's what it's got to be about. It's got to be about you guys. And that's what it's going to be about. Uh, the products and the distributor force. That's what it's about. So, yeah, I do want to add. Uh, I just want to add that uh, when Neil talks about that we're in our place in Florida, this isn't like a garage. OK, we have 6000 square feet of uh, absolutely state of the art manufacturing. Uh, we have a whole suite for liquid manufacturing. We have a clean room. Uh, we just did uh, environmental testing in our clean room. And I think I said this in Robin's last call. I was surprised because they came with particle counters to see how clean our air was. And uh, we have three HEPA, but we have a HEPA filter in our main lab, which is completely unnecessary. You don't need that. Then we have an airlock and then we have three HEPA filters in the clean room, the manufacturing suite. Uh, and uh, the guys came with their particle counters. They thought their equipment was bad because they couldn't find any particles in the air. They actually had to go outside to test their equipment to make sure it was properly reading it. Uh, so we got the highest possible air quality rating in our clean room, uh, which means that we're actually certified. If we wanted to fill injectable drugs, we could do that uh, in our clean room in our biosafety cabinet. Uh, so this is a state of our manufacturing facility. We have a full line for liquid manufacturing and liquid filling. Uh, we have a tube filler, so we can uh, fill tubes. Uh, we have an entire capsule filling line, which we purchased specifically to make the Z immunity product. But now that we have it, we can launch additional capsule products. Uh, and we even got an extruder, uh, which is basically we're going to be using for making uh, pet treats, you know, for our expansion of our pet pain away line to make little dog and cat treats uh, that'll have our, our, our basic over the counter homeopathic drug in it. So we have all of this manufacturing capability here. And as uh, Neil mentioned, because we have it here, we can make product faster. We can have complete oversight on the product uh, on the product formulation from beginning to end. Uh, and then we even have our 6,000 square feet. We have warehouse space, picking, packing, shipping, and everything else. So we get an order. And as Neil said, uh, for the most part, uh, orders are out same day, if not the very next morning. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty proud of the uh, what we've been able to put together in a very, very short period of time. Yeah. I, no, I, I agree. I mean, um, just so, just so that you all know, um, we, you know, the leadership of this company is going to be involved in helping us put it together. So it's, it's not just, you know, a couple of people sitting in a room doing it. So that's what it is. Hank and, uh, and, and Kathleen, yes, we're going to be doing videos. Um, and Dave Johnson had a question for you, uh, Rick, that I can't answer. Yeah, we're taking more Zemu and make it more effective. Optimum, if you want to fight something. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, it's been found that uh, mushrooms are dose dependent, uh, all these mushroom compounds. And we know that the, the zeolite, uh, there's only so much it can be absorbed over a period of time. So you certainly could take more. The recommendation is two a day. If you were fighting something, you could certainly take more. It's not going to hurt you. Uh, you can up it to four or six a day if you wanted to. Um, but uh, all the studies for the dosages that we're providing, they match up with all the studies for people taking it uh, chronically. So two a day is gonna match up with all the studies that we're providing in the white paper. Great. So does anybody have any other questions for us at this point? Cause we'd like to keep things short. Uh, you could talk about how the mushrooms are grown cause it's pretty cool actually, Rick. Yeah, there's actually a cave system. They have three miles of caves uh, that they grow the mushrooms in and mushrooms are grown on dead and decaying plant material. So they grow basically underground in this material. And like I said, the coolest part is every other mushroom facility I've ever seen and believe it or not, I've seen a lot. Uh, they grow the mushrooms individually. So you have one tray is growing one type of mushroom, another tray growing another type of mushroom, but they specifically grow the mushrooms in competition with each other. So they, uh, they, it, it's, it's fascinating to watch that you can wind up with stronger breeds of these mushrooms that have much higher levels of all the nutritional compounds. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's very cool stuff. Uh, and Neil and I talked about how uh, in the day we used to go to regional conferences, have national conferences, and when we have the, hopefully one day we'll have national conferences, and I'll bring people in from the facility grows the mushrooms to talk about it because it's really cool stuff, and they have great videos showing how it's done. So, so somebody asked uh, about the niloxin, and before you before you talk about it, uh, one of the things that Rick and I talked about uh, this weekend, uh, this past week, was. 
Um, we're really pleased with the amount of niloxin that we're selling, but niloxin is a national product that's sold online and stuff like that. Uh, we made it available to you. Um, and it's it's basically the standard strength that we sell. So Rick, Rick and, uh, has agreed to, and we're working up a brand new product under our label that will actually only be extra strength version of this. It'll be a much better version of what you see out there in the marketplace right now. And that will be part of our new stuff also. Right. So, so the, the niloxin is a registered homeopathic drug. It's uh, meaning it's only ingredients, really cobra venom. It's a one ten thousandth dilution of cobra venom that is incredible anti-inflammatory and analgesic. Uh, and so uh, it is sold on Amazon and uh, there's uh, we have white papers for that as well. Uh, we've done, uh, 15 clinical studies on uh, niloxin. There's 47 published clinical studies in humans on these levels of cobra venom for the treatment of pain and inflammation. So it's an all natural, believe it or not, incredibly safe, completely safe way of treating pain and inflammation that can be used uh, chronically. Uh, we've studied it. Uh, we have an oral spray and a topical gel. The oral spray we've studied for rheumatoid and osteoarthritis. Uh, we've studied it as a, uh, a preventative for migraines so if you take it uh, every day, it actually prevents an onset of migraine headaches. Um, it does take three to five days when you're using the oral spray to maximize the benefits. And then after that, it's better and better and better. Uh, the coolest part about the way niloxin works is that when the peptide, when the small protein binds to the, uh, its active site, it's nor on, the, on the neurotransmitters, as a neurotransmitter, it, uh, it doesn't bind well. It actually doesn't fit well. And so the receptor has to change shape to accept the protein. That's a, a, that's a phenomenon known as induced fit. And it's almost like when you have that key that doesn't fit the lock and you gotta wiggle it. And the more you do it, the better it fits the lock. The lock starts to get used to that. Same thing with these receptors. Over time, the receptor accepts the peptide more and more and more. So you need less to get the same benefit which is fascinating because it's the exact opposite of every other drug on the planet where you need more and more and more over time to get the same benefit. With niloxin, the more you use, the less you need to get the same benefit, which is really kind of cool. you know. And that's because of that induced fit. Um, we also have a topical gel. The topical gel is great for any place that has uh, uh, direct areas of pain, especially your hands, your wrist. Uh, we've got studies in carpal tunnel syndrome, TMJ, if you rub it on your jaw. And if you have an active migraine headache, rub a little bit on your temples and the back of your neck, the migraine goes away in minutes. Uh, we've seen incredible results uh, using the topical gel. Uh, we've also done studies at the Nova Southeastern School of Dentistry on post-dental surgery to relieve pain and inflammation, but also on TMJ to reduce the clicking inflammation in TMJ on the, on the, uh, on the joints of the jaw. Uh, so really incredible, safe product for pain and inflammation. And as Neil said, because we make it, it's our product, it's under our technology and our uh, intellectual property, uh, we could actually make a private label exclusive product for Avini Health, which would be a super strength product. So it would be an extra strength product that would only be sold through Avini. Okay, uh, someone asked about additional products. You want me to talk about that too, Neil, or you want to? Have surprises. Um, I don't know. I think we need to leave something for the future. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I, we, we will come out when the we will tell you about the product when it's we're ready to. Oh, Dave, stop it. Um, when we're absolutely ready to uh, and know exactly when we're going to be able to deliver it, because the worst thing is to say to you, hey, we got this product, we're going to try to deliver it in six weeks and it takes two months because we can't get all the raw ingredients. So when we get all our raw materials in and Rick says uh, we're ready to run, we have designed the labels, we're fun, you know, everything is done, but we got to make sure we have all the product and we can get it to you in, in an efficient way. Uh, we don't want to do one of these things. I think we've all lived through that where buy it now and we'll, sell, we'll ship it to you eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we have talked about, you know, personal care products. We, 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 we don't want to be a company with 100 products. Though. So what we have is going to be the po best possible in the categories that we're going to address. And we're primarily addressing uh, immune system support, healthy aging. I think that's the market to be in uh, where we can help the most amount of people across the broadest spectrum. Well, I mean, we intend to have two uh, national conferences a year. Um, and depending how we start out, there may be one this fall and may not start until January. It all depends how, how we start out. Um, and at those conferences, 
That's when you'll hear about the new products. That's when we'll introduce them. Okay. Hey, Neil, someone asked me about ZLA and iron. So let me talk oh, yeah, about that ahead. really quick. Yeah, go ahead. So, uh, yeah, so iron's very low in the affinity series for the zeolite. There are things the zeolite really likes and things that zeolite doesn't really like that much. But as low as you can be on the affinity scale, concentration plays a role as well. So if you have too much of something, some of it is always going to be pulled up by the zeolite. And iron is a really good example because there's a phenomenon known as hemochromatosis. Uh, which is basically an iron overload usually caused by liver dysfunction. And people that have hemochromatosis uh, treat it normally with phlebotomy. You have to give blood every few weeks to remove the excess iron in the blood. Uh, we have found that people taking the zeolite that ha have hemochromatosis can stabilize their iron levels in a relatively short period of time. So when the concentration is so high, uh, it seems that the zeolite will remove some of the excess iron. And, and can do so safely. Uh, so as I said, it doesn't replace you going to the doctor, having your iron levels checked, but people I know with hemochromatosis that use my zeolite uh, have uh, reduced their phlebotomy from four or five times a year to maybe once a year. Uh, and they have a much better result and improved liver function. Um, yeah, you probably wanna leave that one to Chip. Okay. Rick, Rick, Rick can I? I have you go ahead and um and the the question that happened earlier on taking zeolite and pregnizone for this um poor little kitty that we've been trying to help um can can they take both at the same time for the cat yeah yeah uh, the zeolite is uh completely non-interactive with 99.9 percent .9 of medication the only time you ever really have to worry about the zeolite is if the medication contains metals especially if it's a heavy heavy metal so we have done tests with the zeolite against other metal containing drugs principally lithium where we saw very little to no interaction so we didn't change lithium levels so that's safe to take with people taking lithium uh, the time that we saw that was really vital was platinum containing chemotherapeutics like cis platinum carboplatin where the platinum is a heavy metal is actually the toxin in the chemotherapy that was killing the cancer cells. And we found the zeolite loved the platinum and sucked it up. And so if you take the zeolite, then you're on one of those chemotherapies, it'll actually invalidate the chemotherapy. It'll stop it. Because remember, chemotherapy is a toxin. <laughs> the zeolite's doing what it's supposed to do and removing the toxin. So we recommend that people that are undergoing chemotherapy, especially chemotherapy with a platinum containing uh, drug, uh, should stop taking the zeolite for a few days before the chemo and not resume it for a few until a few days after that chemo. And Rick, I haven't, you know, I've I've treated some animals. I know Rosemary, several of us on here have treated the animals with the Marcy dose um, because we had critical, you know, crisis situation. Um, the other question I'm not sure came through. I think it was a direct to me. What about dehydration with the animals or person? W what's your feeling on that? Well, it's true. The number one side effect from the use of the zeolite is the potential for mild dehydration. So, uh, and this is, there's a lot of things that cause this, but principally, as you get these toxins out of your body, believe it or not, they are electrolytes. They're horrible heavy metals, but they carry a charge. By definition, that's an electrolyte. And as you reduce those electrolytes in your body, your body will lose fluid with it. And so I do recommend drinking plenty of water, you know, eight to 10 glasses of water a day when you're using the zeolite. Uh, and uh, you wanna do something to try to get these electrolytes back in your body. So uh, I talked about healthy electrolytes. If you're taking a calcium supplement, a magnesium supplement, if you're using a sports drink, you can, there are, uh, low calorie or zero calorie sports drinks like uh, Gatorade makes a G2 or a G0. Uh, drinking that once or twice a week can stabilize your electrolyte levels. That's always a good idea to try and get those electrolytes back into the body. And with the animals, you know, we've noticed, I think, you know, the, a lot of us that have um, helped with that kind of a thing with the animals having those dire situations, they, they do tend to take care of themselves and go ahead and at least drink water. And, and a lot of times you'll have a, an animal that's you know, really dying, but they'll drink water. You know, I had one cat that, that she would, she was 19 years old. She drank water. So her, her owner put the zeolite in the drinking water and she ended up leave, living and started eating and living another yeah. about six, seven years. So, you know. Yeah. I say when you use it in your pets, just make sure the water's available to them. But that's a good point. And I, I've talked about this before. We did a study with, with West Virginia coal miners. We did a 90 day study. And uh, we told them at the beginning of the study that they could take the, the zeolite any way they wanted, 
but they had to be consistent in the way they took it. And they had to tell us how they took it. And Robert, we've talked about this before. We had guys that just took it right in their mouth. We had guys that put it in their water, put it in their food. One guy added it to his mashed potatoes every night. One guy added to his scotch. He had a glass of scotch every night. He added the zeal to his scotch. And by the end of the study, it didn't matter how they took it. They all got the same benefit. As long as they were taking the product, it was getting into their bodies. They got the same benefit. Awesome. And I know we had a question, the Marcy dose, sorry for those of you who did not know that, apologize for that. Um, you know, Marcy was one of the first people that got to um, get on Rick's product in the very beginning. So um, she took 10 drops every hour for 10 hours a day, at least. And that's for someone who's in a crisis who has a death threat. You know, I mean, it's just Whatever it is, um, if you have a time frame in that, you know, the doctor's saying you're probably not going to be around for so long, um, that's the Marcy dose. Or to me, if I'm ill <coughs> and I want to get well, I'm I'm taking more drops. So you can't hurt yourself, right, Rick? I've yeah, seen that's a, that's a point I want to make. You know, a lot of yeah. times when they talk about a big dose, they're worried about toxicity. There is no toxicity. You can drink bottles of this stuff. It's not going to hurt you. I drink, I, I've done that before. I just drank a bottle, you know, there's, it, it cannot hurt you. Uh, the problem is, uh, not the problem, but the way it's absorbed is it's absorbed passively. So only so much is going to be absorbed at a time across a, uh, a concentration gradient from the digestive tract into the bloodstream. And so we found on average, taking any more than 15 drops, you're going to have reduced absorption. So we always say, if you want to maximize the dose, the, the maximum amount of dose that get into the bloodstream and act as a systemic detoxifier, you don't want to take more than 15 drops at a time. But that doesn't mean you can't take 15 drops every hour and get maximum absorption. So in this case, 10 drops every hour is a really great high dose that's going to keep a lot of zeal in circulation, constantly detoxifying the body. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting because you've heard me say this before, Rick. I mean, the, the, if you read any of the, if you read any of the, the paperwork, it'll tell you that um, after about four to six hours, you're going to urinate out what you took in, you know, from, from that particular hour. Um, right. And because of that, I actually take it four times a day because I feel like I want it in my system all the time. So I take and that's actually what we recommend four times a day. as a detox dose. We say for the first month in zeal, I take 10 drops four times a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, bedtime. And the maintenance dose is 10 drops twice a day. Uh, and then, of course, we recommend upping it back to the detox dose every six to 12 months to give yourself another flush. You know, um, someone asked about holding your mouth rather than your stomach. There is some absorption of buccal mucosa, but we don't recommend swishing around your mouth. We say just take it, get it in your body. It's going to be absorbed. It's so small that it's not going to it's not going to break down in the stomach cycle. It's all going to get absorbed. You know, Rick, I just, I, I, do you remember Christina's story, the young girl, she was 18 and she was in the hospital. She was actually dying. They didn't uh, have a whole lot of hope for her and her mom and aunt gave her the drops and the mushroom at the time, the first mushroom every 15, 20 minutes, you know, because they were trying to save her life. Didn't hurt her, but you know what? She had stopped eating. She had stopped having bowel movements. Um, that next morning, they, they gave it to her through the night and the next morning she had a bowel movement, she had breakfast and she actually got through her issue and, uh, had no more issue. They couldn't find it within about, about a month and a half. So, I mean, you know, it just adjust it. You can't hurt yourself. Adjust it. That, you know, that's, what's so exciting about our products is we don't have to worry about who we share them with or how much we take or when we take them, um, and, and so thank you, Rick. Uh, we're so excited, Rick, Neil, um, to have you on today. But I got to tell you, this is freedom. I mean, amazing freedom. I feel it. I think many of us on the line that we've just never felt before um, with your products and being able to get them out with the people we care about and the people we're going to meet that need them desperately. Um, we are so excited that you guys have taken this on. We know this is huge absolutely huge commitment Neil made me do it you know after <laughs> wait dragging minute. me along by the wait nose a minute. wait a minute <laughs> the old guy come on yeah I uh yeah this is I always wanted I didn't want the responsibility of running the company and all that goes with it uh, I just I just want to be a scientist and make really good products that help people. And it was Neil, Neil took the steps to say we can do it ourselves, you know. And so uh, so yeah, this is uh, really exciting for me. 
to have all the freedom that I've always wanted to launch the best possible products and make it a product driven company. You know, uh, I can tell you years ago, I once got up on stage and talked about fiber for 45 minutes. And if you guys know, I'm a true believer in fiber. You know, if we don't need enough fiber, we need good fiber for general health. And after 45 minutes in a network marketing meeting talking about the benefits of this fiber product now is going to change your life, the marketer stepped up behind me and said, you can forget everything Rick just told you. I'm going to tell you how to make money. And I got to tell you, I wanted to kick him as hard as I could kick him because <laughs> I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to save lives. I'm trying to say, here's how you can be as healthy as possible. And yes, there's a way to make money doing it while you're getting as healthy as possible. But it doesn't mean you forget one in favor of the other. You know, and, and don't so forget I, that word fiber. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wasn't, there was no foreshadowing here, but you heard it from me. Uh, the fact of the matter yeah, is, we're going to have to, we're going to, we're going to have to bow out. I'd really like to keep these things to an hour if that's okay. Yeah. I'm just going to wrap it up and say that uh, I love the fact that we're going to be a product driven company that makes the best possible products uh, for, for health longevity. And by the way, there's a marketing opportunity for everyone to actually make money while you're making the world a healthier place. Awesome. Thank you for inviting us. We'll be Thank back. Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate you guys so very much. Okay. Go well, ahead, Chip. 